Let's talk about Boston Fern Fall Care. This is the most popular of all ferns. Unfortunately, we all fall in love with them and want to take them indoors for the winter. They don't do well indoors in the dry air and low light levels found indoors. The plants try to adapt to the low light and low humidity by dropping all the leaflets on most of the fronds, creating a huge mess. If you want to try to grow them indoors, you can cut off many of the lowest dripping fronds. They're the ones that are going to lose all their leaflets anyway. And just keep the upright fronds, which are going to adapt to the new growing conditions. And they will eventually fall over and re replace these that you've taken off. Move the fern indoors when the house is not using the air conditioner or furnace. So the temperature and humidity are the same indoors and out. The fern needs high humidity, bright light, and indoor temperatures over the winter can be from the low 60s to the upper 70s. A few weeks before you plan to move them out in the spring, you can repot the plant and cut the root ball in half or in quarters to get more ferns. And this is Jeff with the Greener View. Thanks for watching.